Hello again, and welcome back to Simple Electronics Struggles with KiCad. Just kidding. Um, today, we're picking up where we left off. We want to turn the triple five timer circuit into a PCV. At least, that's the end goal. So, on the last video, we just set up this schematic, which is very useful for KiCad. Now the next step is to generate the footprints of what these um, components will actually physically look like. So I'm going to go up here, footprint editor. Is that what I was supposed to do? I don't think so actually. Give me a second. It has to load the footprint libraries anyway. Uh, no, this is actually to make new footprints. I think it's this one. There we go. Assign PCB footprints to schematic symbols. All right. Um, the one thing I like to turn on is the preview down here. I'm going to open this up just a little bit so you guys can see. And basically, we're going to go one at a time. Now, these uh, 0.1 microfarad uh, caps are actually the uh, ceramic disc but anyways you just uh, you click it and then you go down here and let's see capacitor through hole THT um, and then you can actually see we definitely don't want an axial one we want a radial okay but these are just like basically electrolytics we actually want some sort of ceramic disc there's C disk. All right, now we need to know our, our sizes. Now I do have some ceramic disk capacitors next to me, and I have a vernier caliper, so I will measure. The leg spacing is roughly two point, about 2.6 millimeters from each other. Um, so 2.6 uh, let's go 2.6 with 2.6. That should be enough space, although this is kind of big. Some of these will not be perfect, right? But I think that will be good enough. It really just needs to fit. So we'll grab that one like that. Uh, C2 is a 470 microfarad, and the ones I have on me are um, 16 volts, so they're a little bit low voltage, but they'll do. The body I see is 6.4 ish, 6.4, 6.44 in diameter, and the leg spacing is roughly 2.9. So I'm literally physically measuring this as we go. So again, uh, through hole, same thing. Uh, ceramic disc we want. Up here, radial. Um, I already forgot what I said. The body is 6.4, and the leg spacing is. I was trying to get this about right. About three. So six mil here, uh, and P about three. Don't have anything really that close. 2.5, I think, should do though. 6.3. There we go. Good enough. Uh, now, this one here can go back up to the exact same thing. So, C disk 3.8. C disk uh, 3.8. 3.8 with 2.6 mil. It's good. And uh, C4, same thing. They're the same size for the 0.1 microfarad, 0.01 microfarad, I should say. So C disk 3.8, same thing here. Okay, so the diodes, I do have a diode kicking around. And the body of the diode itself is five mils. So we're just going to go over here, the diode through hole, uh, definitely not bridge diodes. 
I'm not actually sure what the package is actually called. That's a vertical one, horizontal. I don't know if that's the proper size. Not exactly an expert on the situation. That's way too big. Units to millimeters. Grid is one point something mils. Yeah, I think we're going to put it like this. Horizontal, and we'll see what it looks like later. Same thing for the other one. All right, screw terminal. That's the one thing I didn't go actually see. I didn't take out of my box, but I'll figure it out. Not that big of a deal. Uh, terminal block. Yeah, that looks about right. I just need, it needs to be 0.1 inch, 50 mils. I think that's right, I'm not sure. Should be a measurement tool here. Uh, here, measure. 0 0.1 inch, okay. You see that it was right in the middle, so this is correct. So we will grab this guy, and same thing, we'll grab this guy, and I'll add in my own silk silkscreen label after. Um, now our end MOS, we need a MOSFET. Now the ones I have are TO220. Uh, I'm not sure, is this, does that work? Nope. Maybe not. Okay, package. This is the one part I didn't practice, just by the way. Uh, inductor. It's not a dual in line. Oh, TO. Uh, TO220. Oh, well, yeah, that's getting close. SOT227. Uh, TO220. But I just need uh, three vertical. No, not two. Three vertical. There we go. One, two, three. That will work. Okay, two resistors. These are going to be a quarter watt through hole. Resistor through hole. Axial power shunt. Through hole. Radial, radial, radial. I'll have to get a resistor and measure it. So the body length on my quarter watt resistors, just about 6.4 millimeters. Six point three. Let's try that. Vertical, horizontal. And I'm just going to measure five. No, that won't work. A bit longer than that. That's way too big now. Uh, 7.62. Oh, I see this number here is the one. Gotcha. Okay, same thing. 
Um, RV1, now 50k pot. I know my pots have... Um, I wonder if it's in here. I know my potentiometers have uh, 0.1 inch pin spacing. So they're not arrays. Must be somewhere different. And P, maybe? Potentiometer, through hole. I have to find sort of, it's going to be the three in line. That sort of looks like it. Um, let's check the pin spacing. That is 0.1 inch. So this will fit, even if the footprint might be a little bit bigger. What's the difference between that one and this one? Oh, just the length of the handle. That's way too big. Yeah, um, it's actually a good question. These are like trimmer pots. This one just doesn't have any overhang, which is actually kind of nice. So we're going to measure the pitch. Yep, 0.1 inch. So that one's good. We'll take that one. And any 555, this is going to be a dip, which is a dual in line. I do kind of like the idea of long pads, but I feel like that's a socket. We definitely don't need a socket. You see that drawing on top? I feel like it should just be the dip package itself. I do need eight pins though. I do like the idea of long pads as well. Get a little bit more kind of copper. That socket. This one doesn't say socket. So we'll go with that. So I think this is it. So we'll apply save schematic and continue. So everything now should have a footprint. But a footprint is what you need to make a circuit board. I will generate the net list now. So default generate. Uh, yeah, sure, net list. Good. And I think now we can swap this onto a board. But that is all I wanted to get done for today. So we set the footprints and we made sure our circuit looks okay. Tune in for the next episode where we're going to throw this all into PCB new and actually design our circuit board. So that should be pretty exciting. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.